Hello YouTube land, welcome to another edition of Jeff's Toy Reviews. I am Jeff and today I am reviewing Fans Toys FT-12T. Um, this is the purple chested grenadier from Fans Toys and uh, this is, I just got done reviewing um, Mercenary and this, so these are the first two Fans Toys figures I've ever owned and I, I will say I'm very impressed. The weight, the die cast is amazing. So let's take a look at the packaging first and then I'll get into the figure review itself. So nice, really nice animated picture. Um, nice drawing on the cover, looks great. Grenadier on the side, and then let's bring in the back. You have a product shot and the pictures are kind of dark. They did it against a black background so it's hard to see the limbs and stuff, which probably went with the gray or white background just to make sure that everything pops, but whatever, that's what they did. Because I believe, um, mercenary had a white background on let me check that right now just so because i'm curious now yeah he had a white grayish background and the figure popped really well so i would probably change that but that's nitpicking so really nice uh picture of the insect insect version or the insecticon mode looks really good um the boxes are nice they're sturdy they come in um, styrofoam packaging so you don't have to worry about the figure getting damaged in shipment so without further ado let's bring him out here he is in his bug mode um oop, sorry move the camera he is hefty he's got a lot of die cast he has die cast in his feet a little bit in the legs he's got die cast on his chest um really really nice figure he's got a little die cast everywhere um they really did a great job i mean he looks like bombshell I mean, this is their version of not bombshell, and he fits perfectly. He looks fantastic in his, ex, in his insect mode, and I'm going to bring in the G1 Insecticon version, or insect, and here he is. I mean, they did a phenomenal job. Just the, the whole look. I like the purple chest. I'm glad I went with the purple chest. They do have a gray chest version. I went with the purple because it's more G1 accurate as opposed to the gray, which is like some of the... Um, I believe the gray chest was in some of the episodes on the cartoon. So, I mean, he looks great. I mean, and the size is something else, right? So I'm going to adjust the camera so you guys take a better look. And there he is. Zoom in here. Cool. I can. And um, there they are. They look pretty good together, right? So let's get him out of the way. Get back to... Um, back to bombshell or excuse me grenadier and um, I really like him I'm impressed with this group of uh, figs so far I think they look fantastic and um, let's get down to transformation shall we so transformation is actually pretty, not bad at all it's really easy compared to mercenary this is actually really easy the arms just come up like they untab there's a set of tabs I'll bring that so you can see it against the white. There's a set of tabs here, and they there's a slot there. Just bring these up, like so. I'm gonna bring these up out of the way. We'll tuck those in later, and on the other side, we'll do the same thing. Again, you can see the the slot is right there, and then the tabs are there. So I'm gonna bring the legs up for now because we're gonna reposition the legs uh, when we get them back into bot form, and then you're going to take the legs turn them around take the legs and you're going to untab them here like so and you can see they just accordion in you know they just fold right in which is really really nice um, you're going to bring bring this leg down like so collapse in and then um, I always bring this back piece in first up first Mine does have a hard time tabbing in. It's like the tab is not lined up completely. There's a little double tab there. Yeah, you can see that. And then there's a, um, a hole here that it should, trying to get the light in there, barely see it, that you can see, there's, barely see it. There it is. And it's supposed to line right up and click in, but mine does not click in very well. But it doesn't really affect anything because the joints are tight enough and it's pretty cool. So we're going to go like this. Oh, actually I did that different way. I went like so. Oh, I guess I did do it that way. I just tucked this in 
along the heel spur so it adds a little extra support and then bring the toe forward so that's one leg done you're going to just turn it around so that's the first leg second leg you're just going to pull down again twist at the thigh the thigh swivel I'm going to bring in down and up like so bring this this one out and again this side too is the same thing on mine it does not snap in easy at all so I just kind of do that and then that and there he has his legs are done just trying to make sure he's all situated he does have a good waist swivel which is good and I'll show you that once he's all done uh, so so now you're going to to get the arms out you want to untab them there's a tab here in a slot and then there's a tab and slot on the other arm and they just pretty much just tab in together come around bring forward forward and then you're going to rotate this up like so and then you bring the arm down and then you'll do this again and then bring the arm down now from here you'll pull out these pieces and you're going to separate you can see uh, grenadier's head here and then you come around to the front and pull that down and as you can see it already wants to come out so um, you're going to do this you're going to bring the head and everything and you're going to fold that see how that kind of just accordioned in there bring his head straight now you're going to bring these two pieces back around you just kind of kind of get that you want to get the the nose part up and you're going to see there's a little bit of a space there so you can t swing these up and then so kind of get that out of the way and then these there's a couple of tabs here that are going to plug into the bottom of his neck my lighting is horrible today um sorry about that and then that just all tabs in holds the head in place and then that just brings up the the horn or nose on the back and you have two tabs here two tabs here and that just slots in um, I just realized I haven't gone over the accessories so I will go over the accessories pretty soon and then you have you know pretty much he's almost done we just have to fix the, the legs these legs here they just come down this whole piece just comes down they don't connect to anything which is not a bad thing um, I wish it did but you know what you know what else can what else can be said you know or done so um, oh sorry just dropped a drop something here shouldn't be kicking stuff and then um, apologize I just got distracted um, bring it like so actually it's like I'm having issues again here we go I don't know what it is about the legs on these guys but I get confused I guess um, of which direction they should go I guess it is kind of weird that these don't tab in anywhere so just kind of have my own issue I guess so Actually, these come in like so, and then they're going to just collapse on themselves. You're going to bring these up, and then... Actually, I think that's it. They just collapse on themselves. There you go. Sorry. This is how I took them in. It took me a minute to remember what I was doing, just because I have only transformed this guy one time. Um, and that was two bug mode um, just because I wanted to kind of have a um, like a fresh not fresh but just a just a different perspective on him this is a plastic it's kind of thin um, it feels sturdy enough but at the same time I don't I don't know um, that just tucks in like that you can just tuck those in like that on each other and um, I don't know. It feels kind of weird on how 
you know, because it is a thin plastic and it almost feels like it wants to break, but at the same time, I know it's pretty sturdy, so it's fine, but still a little weird. I don't know, just me. Um, so that's it. Back looks all, back looks as tidy as it's gonna get. And then, unless other people have suggestions, These are supposed to stay tucked in the back in that little groove. There he is from the back. So here he is, side profile. He does have a backpack, um, no matter what you could do with the legs, just because of this piece that swings out, um, comes up. And there he is in robot mode. He does come with a few things. He does come with the instructions, um, just like mercenary except for these are in black and white i kind of like the color but i can see why they did it in black and white um there is gun storage in bug mode i forgot to show that off where you can just tab in the you split the legs apart and you tab in the gun um i'll show you his gun in a minute and then you know rest instructions he does have extra parts i'm going to show those to you in just a second um extra pieces are they're all in black they're just extra legs. He's got a couple of guns that you could mount on his hind end and replacement legs if you want to go for more of the G1 look. Um, he also comes with three Energon cubes, which are pretty nice. You know, they're translucent plastic. A little sprue marks a little bit, but that's all right. He does come with a replacement chest, so if you do want to go do the clear chest, you can. Again, he also comes with a screwdriver. I forgot to show this on uh, Mercenary, but the screws are right here and this and it's just, it looks like it's just one screw it's long enough unscrew it put it back in real simple i guess i'm not going to be changing them out because i do like the gold chest plate um, the clear ones were fine for the g1 toy but i really like the this this piece here um he does come with a his gun and just like the g1 i mean it's it's Pretty neat. I mean, they they were trying to do something here. Fans Toys did a good job. Um, and just like all the other Masterpiece figures, this does have a tab. And he does have a slot in both of his hands. And you can't see it because it's black. It's really hard to see. But there you go. He does have a tab right there. And then you just take the gun. tabs right in his gun does fit a little bit better than what mercenaries does um so looks good he does also come with his collector card which has the same images still hard to see um you could kind of see it but uh, and they call it a dino mode i don't know why they call it a dino mode just maybe they couldn't call it insect mode or bug mode but whatever um for articulation his head is on a ball joint very tight ball joint on mine um, it does look up and looks down and then he kind of looks up not very far but he does his arms tan could do go up and then back there's a little bit of a you know because of the backpack there's a hindrance he can extend his shoulders all the way out he does have this extra hinge here allows him to do that and then he does have a bicep swivel. He can do, uh, there you go. I mean, way over 90 degrees. I think he broke his elbow there. Uh, I'm being weird. And then he does have a waist swivel. Mine is really tight. Um, he can extend his legs to the splits. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have a um, more than 90 degree knee bend. And then he has an ankle rocker. And the toe does not move because it snaps into place. So it's pretty much fixed. And there he is. Let's do a couple comparisons here. Um, of the two, I will say that I do like Mercenary a little bit more. Um, only because he feels more solid. And once I get the legs all tucked in, they feel better. Um, but there they are side by side. So not too not too shabby. Um Let's see, um, who else bring out here, take move mercenary out. I'll bring back in, um, trigger happy. 
you know, he's taller than Trigger Happy, just like uh, Mercenary was, and or is. Here he is with Masterpiece Hot Rod. And of course, you know, he's bigger. He's, he's a bug. He's a car. So, you know, I still think they fit pretty good in line, um, just with the way they are. Um, another figure that I did get recently, I haven't reviewed yet, is Inferno. So I will bring this up so you can see what Inferno, how big it comes to Inferno. And there you go. Comes right up to the mid, uh, mid belly. <laughs> he does look fat. Sorry. Um, and he comes up right to the mid belly on Inferno. And then last but not least, I'm going to, of course, put him against his G1 self. And um, there he is. There he goes. Stand up. There. So there he goes. Um, I will be putting a retro label, a repro label, excuse me, of the faction symbol on his chest because, he, again, he's an Insecticon just like um, Mercenary. So these are my first two fan toys figures. So I'm going to go over my opinion here. Um, and again, these opinions are my own. They're not, I'm not being paid by anybody. I'm not... Uh, no one's influencing me. I didn't get anything from uh, TF Source or Fan Toys for my review of these figures. These opinions are my own. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you think I missed something, please tell me. I'll gladly recheck. I am going to check the instructions again on his backpack just because I'm not sure that's completely right. So my breakdown. Right now, I do like Mercenary more than Grenadier. Grenadier is a solid figure. He feels good. He has good weight because he has a lot of die cast in his feet. He has a die cast, feels like almost die cast in the crotch. Maybe I'm wrong, but he does have die cast. The chest, this entire purple piece is all die cast. And um, I think he's a very neat figure. Um, he looks really good as an Insecticon. I've seen a couple other companies or another companies put out um, their Insecticons. I just thought they were too small. And I've been eyeing these guys for a while. And I said, you know what? I want to get some fan toys. So I went for these guys. And... If you need Masterpiece Insecticons, I would say go for them. These they they fit in really well. If you don't want to buy third party, then you're not going to buy these. If you just want official stuff, of course you're not going to buy these. If you are on the fence, I'm not sure if there are any other companies coming out with the Insecticons. I know Fans Toys uh, Fans Project did a while ago, and I know um, Bad Cube did theirs. So for me, I think. I really like the fan toys um, right off the bat. This guy was a great purchase for me. He was, I think, 60 bucks. Um, I got him part of a Black, Black Friday thing. And um, I like him. I think he's very good looking. He really does pay homage to the original bombshell. I love his face. He's got that grill. Um, you know, he's got the cannon on his head. Just really cool figure. Transformation is really simple, except again the arms. I always have the legs. I always have problems with the insect legs. Um, I would say pick him up. He's worth the pickup if you are collecting both third party and official. You don't care if they intermingle or mix or whatever. Some people do get particular about that. I say he's worth the pickup. I say um, I would say that. <clears throat> fan toys did an excellent job with them keeping the g1 aesthetic and the cartoon aesthetic at the same time you can the fact that you they give you extra legs, legs to uh, to change out you get some good um you get some energon cubes and you can replace the chest if you really want to go for that more g1 look they really give you a lot of accessories to do that i think he's worth the money he's worth the time to invest in and um and to put on your shelf now, whether or not you do that or not, of course, that's up to you. <clears throat> that's all, all up to you. So, you know, if you buy them, great. You're making a solid purchase. If you don't want to buy them, hey, you're making, it's your decision and I'll never tell you what to do with your money. Um, me, I'm very happy that I bought him and he's going to be definitely, these both are going to be in my top um top 10 for purchases of 2016 these are fantastic figures uh too bad it took me so long to get around to reviewing them and picking them and getting them in my collection maybe i would have picked up a lot more fans toys um uh, along the way so now i'm probably gonna still hunt for a few others i do have forager on the way and i do i have pre-ordered sovereign already so i'm really curious 
to see what else is coming out. I know they're doing Cup and a version of, of um, Six Shot, and they do have Tesla out, which is their version of Perceptor. So there's a lot of things that I'm looking into right now when it comes to these figures. So this has been Jeff with Jeff's Toy Reviews. Remember, all opinions are my are my own. I don't they don't reflect anybody else. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope. Everybody is having a fantastic new year. Have yourselves a good one. Thank you. Bye-bye.